I've already shuffled and I also put two oracle cards for your oracle advice there. The two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So Vir Virgo, for your advice we have the universe works fast when I'm having fun. And then we have growth. And on the flip side of growth, it reads, accept the lessons. When things don't go our way, something more important to the growth of our soul is in the works. So, for your advice, um, it's basically saying to don't beat yourself up when you experience certain unpleasant situations. And just go ahead and accept it for what it is and take it as a lesson. Take it as a lesson, no matter how bad it feels or how much it you wish it would go away. Just take it as a lesson and um, just know that there's something more important to the growth of your soul. And it's in the it's in the making. It's in the work. It's in the works. And so once you do that, you should try to also remember to have fun. Because the universe works fast when you're having fun. So this will, because it's working so fast when you're having fun, it will, uh, the lessons that you're learning while you're growing, um, they won't seem so bad. They won't appear so bad. Because, like I said, when you're having fun, time flies. So in, if you can incorporate the two, more fun in your life when you're experiencing lessons, then the clock will move faster and the, the lessons of any hurt or pain, um, it will move along in a better way. And um, so that's something very important for you to remember. That's what we have for your advice, Virgos. So let's move on down. Take a look. At the recent past, we have the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is about new beginnings, very positive ones. They could be in the realm of work or career, but it could go either way, relationship, family. And uh, if you were having any difficulties in the recent past, things were likely to get better really soon. Um, this card is about being upbeat, optimistic, and very hopeful about your future with a really good cause. Now, you're likely to be feeling quite optimistic and energetic and positive, or you're going to be feeling that way soon. And that would have been in the recent past. Uh, also, with this Ace of Wands, it also tells you that now is a good time to start something new. And that would have been, once again, the recent past, the Ace of Wands, it's paired with the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands is about uh, probably you attended a special event at that time, one which would have been more fun than you were anticipating. So hopefully you went. Um, business, it should have been going really well for you in the recent past, and you should have been really proud of yourself, and others were probably proud of you too. Now, although this is a positive card to get in a reading, it does show a need for you to keep your wits about yourself. That although you deserve some, probably some rest at that time, you should have remembered to treat yourself to some fun. But just know that you are probably in a, you were probably still in a building up phase. And now, or that time, uh, it would have been a time not to rest completely on your laurels. Because this card can sometimes mean that you could have been moving your place of residence also. So, for the recent past, um, the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands, you probably had some new beginnings. A lot of positive new beginnings in the recent past. And you probably had some special events and maybe some type of functions to go to. And maybe you thought you shouldn't go and you went and you, it turned out you had a blast. More fun than you were expecting. So 
um, yeah, two very positive cards. Now, when this Ace of Wands, it talks about uh, relationships and dating. If you were single in the recent past, in the recent past, it indicates a beginning of a new love. It was probably in the making or it came along. Um, but you needed to make yourself available for love, whatever way made sense to you at that time. And if you were in a relationship and you got this Ace of Wands, it tells you that the relationship probably underwent some type of new beginning and it probably rose to new levels of understanding each other. Now, with the Four of Wands, when you talk about relationships, when it comes to love, the Four of Wands can indicate that your relationship it probably became a whole lot more. It probably, it probably became a whole lot more committed. And it could have included potential marriage, possible marriage, engagement. And if you were single Virgos in the recent past and you got this Four of Wands, as you are, and you were looking for love, it shows that, like I said, special events, weddings, bar mitzvahs, commitment ceremonies, they were great places to meet someone special at that time. So if you got invited to something like that, I hope you went because you probably would have met your, your match. So that's what you have for the recent past. Now let's move on down and take a look at the present time. The present time we have Tower and it's paired with the Knight of Swords. Now I like to explain my cards before I go into detail, so just bear with me. Uh, I like to teach people, but now the tower is about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You have to remember to roll with the changes. It's likely that some people, situations that you've counted on at this time, that you probably counted on them for, for to be there for you. They may no longer be there in quite the same way as they once were. Keep in mind, this does not have to be drastic because change is the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. Also, at this time, Cancers, if you've been building some castles in the air, so to say, this could be a time that some of them come crashing down. Keep in mind, that's only going to be a problem if you like to let it be. You'll be able to um, replace them, let's say, with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart this month. Dreaming is going to be very important for you, but it's also important to be living in a reality. Now this tower card, we have it with the Knight of Swords. Now the Knight of Swords, it actually brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful energy. The Knights can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out, Virgos. This card it also points to your physical, your emotional and spiritual energy. It's at a peak. Also, if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to really like what you hear with this Knight of Swords. Um, it can point to a lot of travel, a lot of activity, being out and about, getting a whole lot of things accomplished. You're unlikely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you at this time. And that's a good thing. So you'll be going after your heart's desire, or you should. So with the Tower and the Knight of Swords for your present time, something is going to come crashing down. Like I said, if you've been building castles in the air, yeah, some of them may come down to earth. But like I said before, that's only going to be a problem if you let it be. Change is the nature of life. So you just have to rebuild whatever it was. It may have been something really important or maybe not so important. For example, if something not so important, if you've been... Um, maybe this year you said, okay, I've always wanted to have live plants in my house. So you bought this $300 uh, plant, not a fake one, but a real one, big and pretty. And so you read all the books that you can on how to 
um, keep plants alive indoors. And for some reason, you, you did everything by the book. You gave it all the sunlight it needed, and you gave it water. You made sure when you came home from work, you gave it a kiss. You did everything. But it still wants to come down. It wants to just, the leaves want to turn brown. The leaves are wilting. Um, the plant looks like it just wants to hit the floor. So that's a, that's a simple example. Like I said, it could be something major, and it could be something minor like this plant, okay? So when you hear the tower occur, don't let your mind run wild. It could be something really, really simple, okay? So that tower occur, like I said, it's paired with this Knight of Swords. Now the Knight of Swords, someone wants to come in. Somebody wants to come in and give you some really good news. It could be someone who wants to sweep you off your feet. Yeah. They want, they're want they charging in really fast. Um, when it comes to love and relationships, um, this Knight of Swords is about someone wanting to sweep you off your feet. So, like I said, this news is going to be good. And it's going to bring a lot of cheerful energy to you. A lot of cheerful energy to you. Yeah. So it's going to um, make you feel better after whatever, well, whatever um, falls down from the tower moment. So you'll be enlightened by a disaster because um, there's someone fast talking, sharp. Um, yeah, they're coming in for you. So be prepared. That's for the present time. Now let's move on down and take a look at the challenge. We have High Priestess and Queen of Cups. Now the High Priestess is a very spiritual card. It could have some sexual overtones. It can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, and to inspiration. This is a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It's also important that you pay attention to your dreams now. Keeping a dream diary or a journal, it, it's going to be a good idea. The High Priestess, it's paired with the Queen of Cups. Now this is about a woman. She'll be very helpful to you at this time. Uh, she'll bring love and compassion to your life, to your work, and that's going to be even possible, even if you work in a factory with objects all day rather than people. Uh, this will be a, probably a better, well, better time for your work world, working world, um, than you're realizing. So think positive. Now, with this High Priestess and Queen of Cups for your challenge, uh, a lot of people are going to be drawn to you. You're going to feel like you you got magic. It's going to be a mystical time. Really mystical. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be attracted to you with, as this, with this High Priestess in your reading. Um, but there could be a problem like that when people, so many people want, want a piece of you or just want to just give you so much attention you're going to attract all, you're going to attract all kinds the good the bad and if you've seen that movie the good the bad and the ugly yeah you're going to attract some of everything so that should be interesting very interesting yeah and and there's going to be a woman or a lady could be your mother Maybe maybe a co-worker. They're going to remind you about love and compassion. So with all this attention that you're getting, you might get the big head. And they're going to bring you back down to earth and, and uh, make sure you, you remember to be compassionate and more loving. Because a lot of times when uh, you're getting so much attention, you can become arrogant and maybe conceited. So they're gonna, this person, this, this lady, they'll bring you back down to earth. Um, she's going to be a very nurturing type of person. And 
healing, very healing and uh, supportive of you. So to me it sounds like a mother, someone very compassionate. But uh, shh, this person will keep you grounded and bring you back down to earth. So that's what we have for your challenge. So let's move on down and take a look at the outcome. We have the Nine of Swords with the Four of Cups. Now the Nine of Swords, uh, you need to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, take a good look at whether or not any of that's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. If other things or people in your life, they're contributing to this anxiety, then you need to take control of that and, and lessen it. If this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. Because there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way or more bigger than it is. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that's where the beauty is. Now this Nine of Swords is paired with the Four of Cups. It's a card about wishful thinking. As you can see this man is on the ground. It looks like he's um, doing a lot of thinking and he's making wishes. But it it warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and count your blessings. Don't worry too much about what could be because we all know it's easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure that you're counting your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away because a lot of life it has to do with where we put our focus. So try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So there's some anxiety for your outcome and it's probably about all the attention that you're getting. Or possibly this in the present we talked about someone coming to sweep you off your feet. Or maybe it's about the tower moment. Yeah, but uh, hmm. who knows what it is. You'll know what it is. But there'll be some type of anxiety and you'll feel some hardship. You'll probably have nightmares, some grief and depression with this Nine of Swords. It's making me sad just thinking about it or just looking at the picture. But um, with this Four of Cups, um, you're going to be doing some wishful thinking. You're probably, who knows what you're going to wish for. Maybe you just wish that the anxiety goes away. But you got, if you focus on counting your blessings instead of doing all the wishful thinking or wishing the situation was something different or just accept whatever it is and count your blessings. Because when we count our blessings and at least try to give God three things that you're thankful for every day. Wake up in the morning and let God know that you're thankful for three things you'll go throughout your day feeling much better because that way you're counting your blessings and you're acknowledging that there's a higher power that can be there for you so just three things every morning talk to them and just tell them thank you for this thank you for that and thank you for this three things every every morning count your blessings and you'll be surprised the anxiety that you have it will probably go away so fast because you're more focused on on the blessings that you have and you're not just you know wishing for this and that you know because um, I'm sure you're you're blessed and you have a lot of blessings but sometimes it probably probably doesn't feel like it so that's what we have for your outcome Virgo I hope that you enjoyed this reading I'm going to put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go through a whole lot more. And if there is not a link, I don't. sometimes I don't get a chance to, there's always a, a link for personal readings. So 
I just want to say I thank you so very much for watching, Virgos. I hope that you're enjoying 2020. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. This was a general reading, and my next reading for you will be a love reading. So once again, I hope hope that you're having a great February and I want you to have a beautiful day so thank you so much for watching watching watching